Hey, what's up guys? Didn't see you there. Today I'm reviewing the Dukin T60 Telescopic Light by Sirui. Siri? Sure? You can pronounce it many different ways. Anyways, I have the box right here. We're going to do a quick little unboxing. Before we start, just want to say uh, Sirui, Sire, I'll say Sire. Sire sent me this device to review, um, but they have no uh, opinions over this video. I'm just gonna record it. These are all my opinions. They just sent me the light. I was interested in it. So yeah, I thought it was cool uh, and I just wanted to check it out and they were kind enough to send it to me. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it. So uh, why don't we go right into the unboxing. Let's see. All right, first things first. It comes with a case. That's really nice. I always appreciate it when uh, they include a little case. It's always good when they include a case. Uh, just super handy to have when you're traveling with it. And you can see this uh, tube light is super portable. And one thing that really caught my eye about this tube light is that it's telescopic, meaning that it could uh, change sizes. It can compact into this smaller size, and it can uh, you can expand it basically telescopic and make it longer. We have the light right here. And this is in its retracted form. It's not too uh, big as you can see. And uh, the weight is really nice. It's, it feels solid. Let's see, how do you retract it? Is it from here? Ah, cool. So you grab, there's a little ring on the top of it. And then you just pull it. Now it's like that. AC adapter. This is the charging cable. There is a built-in battery on this, so that's all good. Uh, we have a little tripod for the bottom. There's a quarter 20 on the bottom of this So this tripod just screws around the bottom and you can have it standing up Here it is in its compact form again very light very compact uh, The back there is a removable remote detachable. It's held on by magnets. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a switch on the back There we go Ooh, Nice Zoom. Whenever you're holding a tube light, it always, uh, it's mandatory. You gotta make some lightsaber effects. Zoom, zoom. Pew, pew. All right, let's uh, extend it and we'll see how the light looks with it extended. Okay, this ring is just a little hard to get out sometimes. A little bit difficult if you don't have short nails. <laughs> Can't seem to get this ring out right now. There we go, got it. All right, so when it extends, that's cool. It's just like, it feels very continuous. That's really cool. So right now it is on uh, CCT. So that means it's, uh, you're just going through the daylight colors. So like right now it's on 7900 Kelvin, but oh, that's HSI. This is the effects mode. Uh, let's see, back to CCT. Let's lower the, drop the Kelvin down. It's great, it's so portable, it's awesome. So the remote's detachable, like I said before. Let's see, I have the remote here, and I can uh, adjust the settings on this remote. So now, let's say I got C I wanna go HSI, which is color. There it is, ooh, nice, that's bright. Anything RGB, uh, you can change this color light to. Let's go blue, probably 180 degrees. I, uh, this is really cool, I like the detachable remote. It just makes it really convenient to uh, use this without, uh, you know, even like sometimes I find connecting your phone via an app. I don't like having to use more things than I need to. And having a remote is really useful if you want to just set it up somewhere and then control it from uh, a remote area without messing with your phone. That being said, uh, there is a Siri app to control these. So you can have a whole system of them connected and then you can uh, adjust the settings and. Uh, do it all from your app, with the color, anything you do on the remote, you can do it on the app. There's a power button for the remote that turns it off. And then there's a power button for the actual light, the switch, that you gotta turn off as well. And that completely powers it down. There are a lot of RGB light tubes in the market right now. Uh, I would say it's flooded with them. Everybody's making one. Uh, and I was, I didn't even know C-Ray was making these. Every time I hear their name, I just think of the lenses that they make. The more like budget-friendly anamorphic lenses. So the fact that they're making lights now is really cool and, uh, and they're doing it a little different, you know, how it's not just your standard RGB tube light. If you're like starting out or you're like a solo shooter, you're probably not going to be able to afford those. 
Uh, this one by Sire is very affordable and I think a perfect choice for a budget filmmaker. All right, I've got the, uh, I've got the Sire right now uh, off to the side. It's on the fireplace effect. So let's gather around the fireplace. Let me go over some of the specs for you. Obviously, you just go, uh, go to the website if you want more information, but these are some of the highlights that I thought were uh, worth sharing and uh, what's important to me. Uh, first of all, light quality. So the CRI index on this, CRI index is the color rendition index. So I don't need to say index again. The CRI rating on this is very, very good. It's uh, rated for 97 CRI, which is, uh, I say, industry standard. Another thing that's important to me is the lighting effects. So when you're using the effect on the remote, you just get a little illustration, uh, a little like pictograph of what it is. Fire truck, ambulance. <laughs> this one goes with the music. So now I am talking and it's lighting up the music. So, you know, if you're uh, playing some music or you want this to sync with a music video, so every time I'm talking, it's gonna light up in a different way. And then, you know, you got some music going on, like, yo, Cool. Something I really like about this that I didn't think I'd like so much is actually that, that detachable remote. It is so clutch. Um, I hate fumbling with apps, even though Siri has an app and it's great. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna use that detachable remote because it just allows me to control that light uh, without having to, you know, do anything else. It's already there and, and that's super unique. Of course, there is a tripod stand. You gotta have that quarter 20 on the bottom. It makes it really easy to mount it in uh, various locations. And also the, uh, that ring is really useful if you wanna just hang it on things, you got the ring there. Probably the most unique thing is that it's telescopic. Uh, having that functionality to go from a shorter size to that larger size, <laughs> you're getting basically two lights, almost two lighting setups in one, which is high value. You get a nice spread of light and it's soft. Another really nice feature is the battery life on this. You're rated for full two hours on full power, which is plenty of power. It's already super bright, so I don't think I'd be running it 100 unless I'm using it as a key light. And yeah, another great thing with the Siri T60 is the build quality. I really like the handle. It's got like the grooves for your fingers, so it makes it really easy to hold. It's just like really practical. The mounting options are great. You can, you can put it up on a stand. You can have it on a little tripod stand that it comes with like this, and it's just super handy. Why don't we use this as a key light and we'll see how the uh, how it looks. Right now I've got a key light over on this side. Yeah, let's turn off the light and I'm gonna see how it looks with just lighting myself with this. All right, I turned off my key light and this is what the set looks like right now. It's at 60% right now. Let's see, let's, we're gonna expand it. And we're just gonna put it right over to the side. Even like that, that's a, that's a setup right there. Super easy, and uh, it almost you know looks pretty cool. It's a little it's a little moody, just one sided, a lot of shadow on one side. But the quality of light, I'm really impressed by this uh, T60. It's giving a really soft light, and it's giving a really nice just kind of fall off without any kind of uh, diffusion as well. If you stick a little bit of a silk or a bit of diffusion in between this, get it even softer. It'll probably be really nice. Just gonna move it off the camera. This is at 60%. And I'm uh, pretty well lit. Let's uh, take the remote. Look at that. Control it right now, baby. It's 100%. It is bright. I'm pretty happy with that kind of lighting. And even if you want to be more dramatic, get it off to the side a little bit like this. That's nice. But I like it. I think it's like, these lights are always nice because they like, I don't mind seeing these lights. They're not, you know, um, like your standard lights. I always think these tube lights, they're an aesthetic. If you want to show them off, they look great like on set as a part of your scene. Um, so they're very versatile. Like, I, I feel like you can get a good quality of light because you're moving it close to the subject. But then when you're shooting, they look cool. So you don't even worry about showing it off in the scene. Like, but man, that, the, just the retracting aspect of it, so cool, boom. Look at that, easy, compact. Put that in your backpack, you're golden. Say I got a big light tube like this. So all right, I gotta go out and I just need a light tube. 
It's the only one I got. Ugh. That looks stupid. You're gonna travel with that. It's gonna get destroyed in the elements. It's not cool. But this guy, the Siri T60, watch this. Boom. Compact. <laughs> Look at that. Now it fits. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Fits right inside the backpack. Easy. You travel with that. It's not sticking out, not exposed to the elements, not knocking things around. That is basically it. That's the Siri T60. You can order it on their website. The price is super aggressive uh, when compared to other RGB tube lights out there. I think uh, the, for the features that you're getting and the quality that you're getting, the Siri T60 is going to be hard to beat. Siri T60 Dukin telescopic LED RGB tube light. <laughs> that is a long name. Um, anyways, if you guys are looking for a tube light, let me know what you guys go for, what you prefer. Thanks for watching. Peace.